Traffic Ticket Guru presents The Guru's Views and Traffic Enforcement News Welcome to The Guru's Views Today's show focuses on the upcoming holiday season and how governments and law enforcement around the world are working hard to spread their own brand of Christmas cheer. This first story comes to us from the newspaper.com Ah, Australia, home to kangaroos, beer, and beer drinking kangaroos. Now it's also home to airborne photo enforcement. That's right, speed cameras that are watching you from the skies. New South Wales has mounted speed camera equipment in a plane just in time for a holiday ticketing blitz. NSW police have announced that the program will run from December 23rd until January 3rd. Helping to combat the evil drivers on the road this year is a Cessna 206H stationaire fixed-wing aircraft equipped with the latest infrared surveillance equipment and speed cameras that are designed to issue as many tickets as possible over the holidays. Just as there are police cars on the road, we will now have a plane in the sky, NSW Police Commissioner Andrew Scipione said in a statement. You never know when the police are watching you. Law enforcement in other parts of the world have used aircraft in the past to ticket drivers, but only in conjunction with ground-based forces to pull over motorists. This time, airborne camera equipment offers the additional capability of photographing license plates and automatically preparing tickets. The system will depend on pavement markings to estimate speed using a time over distance method. In addition to speeding, the sophisticated video equipment will be used to monitor drivers for signs of fatigue, and tickets will be generated if the driver or passengers are spotted without a seatbelt or if the driver uses a mobile phone. The cell phone offense carries a fine of 338 Aussie dollars and 4 points. Commissioner Scipione explained if the equipment is unsuccessful, the next year they will rely on officers stopping the vehicle on the ground. The holiday season also marks the start of a double demerit Christmas. That's right, vehicle owners will be hit twice as hard with insurance increases from each ticket received during the Blitz. And last year's Yuletide speed traps yielded 13,868 speeding and 1,099 seatbelt citations. In related stories, both Spain and the UK have experimented with the use of the Eurocopter EC-135 surveillance helicopter for issuing speeding tickets. And Spain's government announced back in 2007 that it was moving forward with a plan to use surveillance helicopters in major cities to issue speeding tickets. Unlike the old method of time over distance and having ground forces stop the vehicle, they planned to employ a far more expensive solution designed to provide more impressive results without the need for ground units to verify the driver's identity and slow the ticketing process. A Westcam MX-15 infrared camera takes close-up photographs of the vehicle's license plate while an airborne radar system generates a speed estimate that appears on the video image. Despite the enormous expense, DGT hopes to have speed camera equipped helicopters patrolling Madrid, Valencia, Seville and other major cities. A Eurocopter EC-135 helicopter used by the Police Service of Northern Ireland costs US $7.3 million to purchase in addition to an extra $1.5 million in annual operating costs. Upon hearing this newscast, the police chief from Winnipeg, Canada, Keith McCashcow, perked up his ears and said, we need to move faster to get a helicopter here. And speaking of Winnipeg, the cost of speeding is going up in Manitoba in the new year as the province changes the way it calculates fines. Starting January 1st, motorists will be charged a base fine of $7.70 for every kilometer per hour they travel above the posted limit, and that doesn't include court costs and other sur surcharges. For years, the fines have been grouped into ranges of speed with set fines. But really, how do you make money in a recession doing it like that? Starting in 2010, speeders, or as they call them in Winnipeg, people entering a vacant construction zone, will pay more for every kilometer they travel above the limit. In announcing the new fine structure, Attorney General Andrew Swan said, the change will make every ticket better reflect the actual offense and provide greater incentive for individuals to slow down. 
He also went on to state that he has enjoyed his position as Justice Minister and looks forward to the Conservative Party taking over after the next election. If a driver is caught going 10 kilometers over the limit now, the fine is $164. In January, that will rise to $177.50. 11 over now costs 164 as well, but in the new year, it will set you back $189.75. Also, starting in January, the court cost portion of the tickets will increase to 45% from 35% of the fine. A government spokeswoman said, Changing the way fines are structured won't necessarily mean a big boost in revenue for the province. Most of the fine goes to the municipality where the ticket is issued. Revenue also depends on how many tickets are handed out, she said. When reached for comment, Winnipeg's Mayor Sam Cates gave a standard response of, It pisses me off that they are using photo radar in unmanned construction zones. He then instructed us to talk to the police chief because he's the one who's really in charge of the city anyways. Well, that's it for this newscast. From all of me at Traffic Ticket Guru, I wish all of you a happy holiday and no tickets in the new year. And Santa, watch yourself over Australia, Spain and the UK because there's no breaks even for you. Now slow down, drive safe and keep your money in your pocket.